hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel again in this video we will learn how to secure cron job using node.js so uh, basically uh, before start you have to understand uh, uh, what is cron job actually basically cron is a uh, time stealer time based uh, job stealer and uh, uh, let me give you a quick example for this I uh, suppose uh, you had made a mobile recharge and you caught the validity of 28 days. Now, next time you will get uh, the SMS like uh, before uh, expiration uh, uh, of uh, your plan. Like uh, your your plan will be expired by tomorrow. Please uh, recharge uh, uh, something like that, or, uh, like one or two day before you get the SMS. So like. Uh, how you will get this SMS? Like, uh, on what basis we decide the time? Like, at what time your uh, recharge gonna expire? And they send your message. So, uh, at the time when you recharge your mobile, so uh, it schedule the next recharge time, and it should schedule according to the validity you got. So, uh, they will uh, like. Uh, uh, still the job like I suppose you are getting a validity of 28 days so at the 27th day you will get a notification uh, related to this so uh, basically in note we had to create uh, we have package that we need to install node cron you can simply write uh, in your terminal and PMI node cron and for this like first of all you need to require uh, this package inside uh, your module or your JS file, whatever you are using, and after that you had to uh, write the function like cron dot schedule, and inside it first parameter we had to uh, write the time at what time we need uh, to execute the job that we had schedule. So uh, the time you gonna schedule had to write inside it. So uh, basically it uh, provide uh, uh, different time like uh, you can uh, give in seconds uh, or milliseconds or seconds hours uh, days uh. so we'll uh, discuss uh, for that uh, later on after that uh, it provide the callback function uh, that will execute when your uh, schedule time occur and uh, it's like uh, you schedule your job uh, at 7 p.m. so at 7 p.m. when uh, your method execute so uh, whatever you had inside the inside the callback function it will execute so uh, basically in field we have a uh, star star uh, first one is for second that is it's optional uh, you do not uh, need to uh, write inside your method second one is for minute there you can uh, write uh, the minute like uh, suppose uh, you're gonna uh, execute your job every minute so they can write the mint and uh, it should have the value from uh, 0 to 59 and then after we have hours and day of month also we have month and after that we had day of week now our uh, four second as I told earlier it has a value of uh, 0 to 59 uh, same for mint and in R we can uh, pass the value of 0 to 23 and in case of day of month basically uh, we can provide any value within the range of 1 to 31 also in, in month we can provide 1 to 12 or uh, also we can provide the name of month and uh, at last day of week there we can provide value between 0 to 7 also we can provide the name of uh, the day and 0 and 7 uh, stand for Sunday so let's uh, start our coding section so there I'm gonna create a new file called uh, cronjob.js so cronjob.js let me uh, zoom this window a little bit so first of all I'm gonna use const express that will require a module called uh, express 
then after all, I'm going to use const uh, router and uh, I'm going to use express dot uh, router to create the route for uh, API. Also, I'm going to use uh, module dot exports that should equal to router. Now I need to bring the module I had uh, installed the package of Chrome. Make sure you had installed packets if you haven't. So I'm going to use require cron uh, not cron. After that, I'm going to create a post request. So let's say router dot post. And here I'm going to give the endpoint for API called uh, schedule. After that, I'm going to use callback function as I'm not going to. Uh, require anything from request so I'm gonna just uh, simply give the response based on the request so what I'm going to do like uh, I'm gonna use here try catch block and inside it first of all I'm gonna fetch uh, the current date so I'm gonna use uh, where uh, d equal to new date also uh, I'm gonna use uh, the time hours uh, or the month so I'm gonna use uh, where uh, word mint so what I'm going to do like at what time the request uh, I requested to schedule the cron job uh, it will automatically execute uh, at the next minute of our request so that's why I'm gonna use uh, where mint and uh, here I'm gonna use t dot cat mints also i'm gonna use uh, the current date and it should be d dot uh, cat date next thing i'm gonna use uh, month so where uh, month it should be d dot uh, get months and basically month will return from uh, 0 to 11 so uh, the our current month uh, should be month plus one and next thing I'm gonna use where R and it should be equal to t dot get Rs. that's all what I want and inside of uh, catch block if there are any error occur I'm gonna simply send rest dot status and here I'm gonna send this status of 500 and uh, inside JSON I'm gonna uh, send or uh, you can simply use send for send a string server error save this one now uh, let's uh, stool the chrome so chrome dot uh, stool and uh, inside it first of all we had to pass the time so basically we have uh, five star inside it sixth one is optional as I told already uh, for minutes and for hour and uh, for the like date then month and uh, weekday so uh, first of all in place of uh, mint I'm gonna pass the mint value what I got and uh, from above variable and uh, you can simply use mint plus one so uh, at what time our uh, request came and uh, by add one uh, at the that minute will uh, steal the job and it will execute after that minute so uh, and in place of uh, r here i'm gonna pass the reference of our, our variable and then after date current date also after that i'm gonna pass the month and as I told earlier, month uh, value should be from 0 to 11. So here I need to pass month plus 1. After that, we had uh, another parameter here and it should be a callback function. And uh, inside it, I'm going to pass console.log. Uh, and uh, here I'm going to use 
task completed and then after I have to pass the time at uh, here I have to pass the R and colon and then after I need to pass the mint so it should be dollar sign mint plus one next thing uh, I have to schedule and execute the job according to the time zone so basically first of all I need to pass tool to the true and second one I have to pass the time zone and here I'm gonna use the time zone for Asia slash Kolkata save this one that's all and after this one I need to pass the response so rest dot status I'm gonna pass the status of uh, 201 and also I'm gonna pass a JSON message called uh, job uh, scheduled save this one now we have to move our index.js file here and uh, here I'm gonna use app.use inside it I'm gonna pass API slash job and uh, by separate with comma I have to give the path of uh, our file and here I'm going to use uh, route slash API slash cron job save this one and uh, let's see everything is fine or not yeah I think so so let's start our server and I'm going to use uh, node index there you can see our server has been started and if I jump to the postman and uh, let me create new URL and uh, we have post type request and it should be HTTP localhost and after API we had uh, job slash situ let me see endpoint is same yeah uh, endpoints are same and uh, in request we are not sending anything let's uh, hit the request there you can see I got the message job has been secure and if you see the current time we current time is uh, 7 27 p.m. That means our uh, task will be completed at uh, 7 o'clock and 28 minutes it should be something like this this uh 1928 let's uh, wait for a minute and see will it execute at that time or not till we uh waiting for this let's understand that it's uh time parameter once more like this field is for uh, mint this is for r and this is for the month at what month you are going to execute your job it is like this there you can see I got the message tax has been completed at uh, specific uh, time also uh, if I speak further for this like in place of month if you do not pass anything if you just write the star here it will work like this 1 to 12 means it will execute every month also uh, in place of uh, like mint uh, you are going to like pass simply star or uh, like all field are stars this means the task will execute again and again in every interval of a minute so that's all for uh, the cron job like how can we set up cron job uh, in uh, node.js or how can we create an API that schedule our job and execute the task so whatever you need to execute at a specific time, you can write your code whether send the SMS or notification. So that's all.